Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the Career Pack Podcast. My name is Neil Patel. I'm the host of this podcast. And on this pod, I combine creativity and impact and hope to give a little bit more than I can get. If you guys are new, welcome. This is my YouTube channel. I'm shooting a video podcast today for about six, seven, eight, nine minutes. I want to break down my three biggest goals that I have for 2024. And let me know what you guys' thoughts are on them as well as your guys' goals. So if you guys do notice something a little bit different, the camera is much closer to me and I am using a very wide lens, which I just recently purchased. Man, I can't wait for the day that I'll be monetized on YouTube. That'll be a dream come true. But until then, your boy's pockets are just going down, slowly going down, but that's okay. The first goal that I have for 2024, and I feel like I've Set this goal for the past two years, and this is the year that I'm going to do it. No questions, no ifs, ands, or buts, because I'm already on the way down. I've already been losing a little bit of weight, and it's that. It's to get healthy again. It's to be basketball mobile. And you know what? I'm going to put it out there, right? Because if I put it out there, I feel like I'll hold myself a lot more accountable than just keeping it in private. So that's the first one. Specifically, 20 pounds, that will be a big, big goal for me. And I think, I think I keep it pretty simple. Get your steps in, just move, don't eat shit and just get to the gym, go to the gym as often as I can. And it doesn't matter if I do like a crazy, crazy hard workout, but the point is just get in the gym. And then once I build up that consistency, everything else will follow. So that's the first goal is to lose 20 pounds and to be consistent in the gym. The second goal that I have for 2024 is to build a new hobby and to learn something new. If you guys don't know, your boy can sing a little bit. He knows how to use his voice just a wee bit. But one thing that I want to pair that singing voice with is a piano. I want to learn the piano, get good at the piano, be consistent with it. And so I could just curate my own songs, listen to certain melodies and certain songs and be able to recreate them. It's just a hobby that I've always had a really big passion for but I've never taken action on the passion. It's just been something that I've wanted to do. So yeah, kind of left wing, probably something that you guys weren't expecting as a goal of mine, but it's to learn the piano and get good at it. So if you guys know any good deals that are in the market right now for like cheap piano keyboards or something that's just good for a beginner, please just let me know because I will absolutely take on the recommendation and I will shout you out if you give me a good one. So please do that. And the third and most important one is YouTube. I need, I need, I want, and I will take YouTube seriously in 2024. Along with the career that I've slowly started to build here as an editor, a filmmaker for other creators, I really do want to take YouTube a little bit more seriously. And whether it's just one video a month, two videos a month, whatever the time I have, whatever it allows, considering I'll have another job that I'm going to be doing as well, I want to take YouTube a lot more seriously, hence why I bought this lens, hence why I'm using this camera and shooting it here and just putting a video out there as a video podcast because I want to get comfortable in front of a video and just chatting with anyone out there who listens to these podcasts. And of course, there are some financial goals that I do have as well. I placed it in a YouTube comment of this one podcast, or actually this one creator that I really enjoy watching. I placed what I wanted to save. It's, it's a five figure goal. So just let you guys know that. But if I was to save that amount of money financially, I would feel absolutely great because that's a goal. I've wanted to hit it and I'm going to do it. And I'm tired of not hitting my goals as consistently as I want to. So that financial goal must be a priority. I feel like in previous years, I've made goals that were like way too extravagant and way too much to my liking. And ones that were just like way too big for me to kind of like achieve. So this year I'm kind of keeping it really simple. And if I can smash those goals, whether it's financially, like emotionally, physically, in the real world, I would be extremely, extremely at peace with the year 2024. And one more bonus goal is to finish off this podcast fucking strong. We are on episode number what, 320, 321. I don't even know anymore. But whatever episode we are on, we are getting close to the 365 day mark. I don't really have anything special planned for the 365th day other than just letting y'all know that I did a podcast for a year straight. I've said it multiple times, but this is more so just for myself to be like, hey, I set out this goal and I achieved it. Regardless of numbers, regardless of how many people watch, don't watch, I don't really give a shit about that. 
It's more so just setting a goal and executing on it. And then what's next in terms of the podcast? I don't even know yet because I have some other areas of my life that I really need to focus on. Whether I start having a guest on once a week, twice a week, I don't know. So those are my three goals and a couple bonus goals for the year 2024. Again, if you guys have some really outlandish goals, big goals, small goals, it doesn't matter. Please let me know. What are they? And let's fucking crush 2024. Wow, that sounded cringe as shit. Let's, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. Let's make 2024 the year that we prioritize our work but also our health, our mental health, everything alongside work because work will always be there. And it's a lesson that I'm kind of learning the hard way. Like even today, bro, I'm sick as shit, but you guys may not tell that I'm sick, but I'm, I'm in a hoodie inside the house or I'm in a sweater inside the house for a reason. I just filmed a vlog today, my first ever vlog that I'm going to edit up tonight. I don't know when I'll post it, maybe sometime over the weekend or early next week. Very excited about that. Yeah. You guys will have a lot more content to look forward to and like i always say my people take care tell someone that you love them and go do something nice for someone today because they genuinely deserve it and like always please feel free to subscribe on youtube at korea pack podcast all socials korea pack podcast wherever you're listening whether it's spotify apple music or apple Podcasts, amazon music i don't know just hit the follow button i would appreciate it a ton leave me a four or five star review if you feel like this was worthy of that until tomorrow much love Peace.